Welcome to the studio tour. The Be Live Studio 2 tour. I'm going to show you the main options and then I'll go in depth on each of them in following lectures. Top of the screen is where you can actually set your next show and you can set the date and the time and add a show card and it will go live on Facebook or Twitch or YouTube depending on your choice. Once you've set up the show, select the show, press start, go live at the time you set if you're scheduled and go live anytime if you've not got a scheduled show. Adding your camera is the next option and I've already added mine. I'm here in the studio and I'm talking to you now. Uh, it's simple and straightforward. Uh, it does check the video quality, video and audio and that you can actually hear what people are saying before you go onto screen and subsequently go live out to Facebook, YouTube or Twitch. Inviting a guest, I'll cover how to invite a guest and uh, what to do when the guest arrives. Then screen share. Now screen share is available to you as host, but it's also now available to your guest. This is a fantastic enhancement to the system because you can, from below, from the staging section, you can bring up your guest screen share onto the live feed. And you're in control, but your guest is actually in control of the screen share content. Images. Uh, you can bring in images from your desktop and your hard drive anytime that you like. You can bring in images from Facebook anytime you like. Got two grayed out images. Now this uh, video is recorded on the 18th of June 2019. So uh, I'll update it as time goes on as those two icons become live. We're on the beta at the moment. You can show text on screen. And there's the text you can show on screen. And let's show it. This is the be live Studio 2 course for live broadcasters. And I'm going to hide that again. You can set up agendas. And you can have multiple agendas. And you can edit the agenda. So if you make a spelling mistake, you can go back and edit it even whilst you're live. And then most importantly, branding. You can change the theme. You can change the logo. You can change the overlay, you can change the background all whilst you're live. And uh, I cover the appearance setting thoroughly in a subsequent lecture to this. But this is your studio. And the thing about it is it's permanent and it remembers what you've done. So if you upload a photograph, it will stay until you delete it. You're in total control. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see two chats. There's a public chat and you can use that to, as people are commenting on Facebook, you can feature their comments on screen and create an interactive experience which everybody enjoys. You can answer questions, you can feature comments, you can respond, you can have, you can interact with your audience and that's the magic of BeLive since BeLive began is the ability to actually interact with your audience. This is about networking. Uh, about getting to know people and you're the one on camera they're watching and you can have talk to them and learn more about them as they learn more about you if you have guests on the show you've got the host chat and the host chat is available so that you can communicate with your guests without having to speak uh, uh, give you directions verbally you can actually give them in text okay now the other thing you can do uh, is you can actually go and this will work sound only. So you can go sound only on the set at any time and then come back. Okay, I'm waiting to come back. And I'm back now. And uh, you can also feature images on the screen and you've got a live area which is on the left and a staging area which is on the right you can bring up 
an image on screen just by clicking it that image is displayed on screen and you can determine the format on screen and probably that way is the best way to do it and it's as simple as that so the staging in the live area if I want to take that out of live I just press the downward arrow and that image will disappear and I will be back to full screen that's the tour final thing bottom right hand corner you notice an orange circle press the circle and you're in direct contact with be live support live and if you've got a problem while you're broadcasting just send a message simple as that you have live support whilst you're broadcasting live to facebook twitch or youtube make use of it take it off the screen just press the icon again that's the tour and in the course i'm going to cover each of the options in turn uh, from my point of view if you've got any comments on any part of the course then please say i want to do can i continual and never-ending improvement on this course so you find that lectures will be changed and updated and keep you up to date on what's happening on belive.tv and i am totally waiting for those two grayed out icons to be uh, updated so that i can use the features i know are coming um so enjoy the course this is your course i've designed it so that you can do it step by step and uh, this is the end of the studio tour you'll find further lectures on each aspect that we've talked about and i look forward to seeing you in the next lecture